Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to upload uh, an image to represent your podcast on uh, either iTunes or whatever other podcast directory uh, that you want to use. This will make that image uh, the, sort of the icon for your podcast in your feed and that's what's picked up by uh, podcast directories and the like. So to do that all you have to do is go into PowerPress. Now this is where we find all of our settings for our podcasting feed. This is how our podcast is represented to the outside world. So click on that and we've got all the settings. So go straight to the iTunes tab up the top here. And we've got quite a few iTunes options in here. So you can change a few things in here. You've got your subtitle, you've got your summary, these things you don't necessarily need, but it can be useful to fill them in if you like. Down here you've got the category. When you submit your podcast to iTunes, it actually asks for the category, but you can fill it in in advance here. Uh, you've also got the image here. Now this is the one we're looking for. So it's how to upload the image. Now at the moment, uh, we don't have an image at all in here. So what we really want to do is just have a quick look at the specs here. Now this is quite important because the iTunes requires some quite um, sort of specific specs for their images. Now they're quite big, so we've got 1400 by 1400 pixels and a JPEG or a PNG. Now they're just two different types of image files and 1400 pixels by 1400 pixels is quite a large image. Um, most images that you find on the web won't be that big. So it might be that you have to uh, do a bit of editing to make your image big enough. Um, generally if you've got a photo that you've taken on a camera or your phone it will be bigger than that so that's good. But generally what you want to do is edit your image, find the image that you want, edit it so that it's square in the first place and then if you can edit it to that size, so 1400 by 1400 or bigger. If it's bigger then it will be scaled down but if it's smaller uh, there's a chance that iTunes won't pick it up because it doesn't think it's high enough quality. So to upload it just scroll down a little bit further and you'll see this tick box upload a new image and then you can choose your file so if you click browse Okay, so here's a few images I've got and there's one in here that I've created earlier, uh, actually for one of our users um, called Jake and this is his image. Now you can see if I hover over it that the image size is 1400 by 1400. Uh, so I've edited that so that it's square and that it's a good size. Um, you can see that it's 121k so it's actually a reasonably big image. Now all I'm going to do is double click that and also use as RSS image, that's perfect. Now, before you go any further actually, it's good to fill in this iTunes email as well if that's not fit it, filled in. Um, but let's just go down and I'll click save changes. And it says settings saved successfully. And now if I scroll back down, you see that it's uploaded that picture. There's now an address in the image file here. And if I now go to my feed, then you can see that that image appears as the feed um, icon. Okay, so that's how to get your image on there and that will now um, appear on iTunes uh, pretty quickly as well if, uh, if you upload it there. Okay, so I hope that helps and uh, good luck with uploading your own images.